Kevin, uh, congratulations, uh, three in a row All-Ireland champions, how does it feel? Uh, fantastic, you know, and I suppose it's, it's probably really nice to win it the way we won it, you know, it was, a, it was a tough slag out there, it was hard to, I suppose, get scores and, uh, you know, we were probably lucky enough at the final whistle when it came in normal time and uh, we really kicked on then the next time, but, you know, a great day for the club, it's a fantastic achievement and, uh, you know, probably this group, I think, deserve uh, to have their name up in, in history and, uh, you know, fair play. We didn't talk about it before today, as we said, but we can look at it now and, uh, you know, enjoy it. What does it say about you know the character, quality, commitment, everything about these players? Yeah, listen, they're a fantastic bunch, or bunch, and uh, like we, we we probably you know they drive themselves. They're they're easy to manage, and uh, you know there's a lot of hard calls we made again today, and lads just you know they take it on the chin and they they push on and they really support each other, and you know they do the strength and condition really really well, and uh, you know it's it's years of, of, of I suppose dedication to, to the cause, and uh, you know fair play to them, they got their just reward today. You said it wasn't easy. What were your emotions on the sideline in the final few minutes of normal time when Kilku came from three points down with 14 men? Yeah, I suppose you're trying to you're trying to get to cover every player because they come at all these different angles and uh, you know we, I don't know where we're out on our feet at that stage. It's been very hard to but they just had the momentum and uh, you know they probably they got a free you know around the middle of the pitch and it's probably brought in for dissent. I'm not really sure what it was for, but uh, you know those those calls are big calls and, and days like today and I'm sure you know I'm sure Connor was right, but uh, we just probably lost control the game at that stage and we were delighted to get the final whistle and we knew then if we were grouped that our, our panel was strong. You know. What was the message before the first period of extra time because they really came out and played like we know they can play? I think we, we probably spoke about it uh, during the week that uh, you know the way Kiku played that scores would be hard to get and this game could go to extra time and uh, we knew then we had the bench to bring in we knew we had fresh legs and uh, we've used these guys during the year to have the experience and uh, over the years as well and uh, you know today to bring in Kieran McGrath there Conor Cunningham uh, Dylan Canney fantastic came in Dylan McHugh like um, Conor, Conor Newell you know those, those kind of experience and the youth as well was a huge advantage to us. For clubs all around the country wondering how do you create a winning culture like Cara Finns, any bits of advice from? Uh, no, uh, I suppose you know it's it's within the players. The players have to drive this. Um, you know we facilitate uh, the players' ambitions, and uh, I'm lucky I have a fantastic management team around, and I think everyone around the club is willing to help. And uh, I'm three years or four years in charge now, and anything I've asked to be done has been done by the club, and it's great, it's great support, and uh, I hope everyone enjoys tonight. Well done. Cheers. Thank you.